Hey everyone, welcome to KSSP Podcast. I'm Spencer. And I'm Katie. And today in we're gonna today we're going to be talking about gratitude. That is gonna be our overall theme of the day, if you will. With that, we're gonna be doing our mini series on gratitude. And we're gonna go over what is gratitude, what are the benefits of gratitude and we're just gonna give a few brief examples of gratitude how to practice so to start we're gonna go with what is gratitude well gratitude is um well gratitude is gratitude but anyways gratitude thankfulness or gratefulness is from the latin word gratus which means pleasing or thankful It is regarded as a feeling of appreciation or similar positive response by a recipient of another's kindness. This can be gifts, help, favors, or any form of generosity to another person. And gratitude can also be the feeling of thankfulness for the positives in your life that aren't necessarily the result of anyone else's actions. So being able to internally take in feelings of gratitude and allow yourself to feel them is healthy for your mental health in general. And the absence of gratitude where gratitude is expected is called ingratitude or ungratefulness. And historically, gratitude has been part of several world religions and it was also, or also has been topic of interest to ancient, medieval, and modern philosophers. The study of gratitude within the field of psychology began in 1998 when Martin Seligman introduced a new branch of psychology that he termed positive psychology. So some assert that gratitude is not the same as indebtedness. While both emotions may occur in response to help or favors, indebtedness occurs when an individual perceives that they're under an obligation to provide repayment or compensation for the aid. The emotions lead to different actions. Indebtedness may motivate the recipient to avoid the person who helped them, whereas gratitude may motivate a recipient to seek out their benefactor and improve their relationship with them. And... If so, a link between gratitude and spirituality has recently become a subject of interest to people. Studies have found that it is spirituality is capable of enhancing a person's ability to be grateful. So, those who regularly attend religious services or engage in religious activities are more likely to have a greater sense of gratitude in all areas of life. And Gratitude is viewed as a prized human propensity in the Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, Jewish, Baha'i, and Hindu traditions. I do just want to point out with that, I think that it doesn't necessarily have to be a religious service. I think it's more just engaging with your spirituality in general. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't know if that's based on us study but i just i would assume that that would apply to spiritual practice in general such as like meditation you know yes yeah i don't we might bring that up later but if we don't i think that there has been studies also and that just makes sense too because when you meditate like your mind is allowed like becomes clearer and then Mm -hmm. when your mind is clearer you can just think clearer and then it just helps with gratitude too just helping you find things like to be grateful for in life too when you're able to have a clear mind and not yeah anxious i guess yeah and lowering your stress response yes all right so there's been three scales that have been developed to measure individual differences in gratitude each of which assesses somewhat different conceptions So there's the GQ6, and that measures individual differences in how frequently and intensely people feel gratitude. And then there's the appreciation scale, which measures eight different aspects of gratitude. These are appreciation of people, possessions, 
the present moment, rituals, feelings of awe, social comparisons, existential concerns, and behavior which expresses gratitude. And then the G-Rat assesses gratitude towards other people, gratitude towards the world in general, and the lack of resentment for what you lack, which I think is an important part of gratitude. It's, um, ha you know, getting to the place where you have a lack of the resentment for what you lack. And a recent study showed that these scales are actually all measuring the same way of approaching life. And this suggests that individual differences in gratitude include all of these components. Now that we have a better understanding of what gratitude is, next we're going to look into some of the benefits. And as always, you can leave a comment below if you have any topic ideas that you want to hear us talk about in future episodes. You can reach out to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We also do occasionally live stream on Twitch, so be sure to follow us there to see what we do. And don't forget to give this video a like as well as follow or subscribe to our other social media accounts and turn on notifications so that you get notified when our new content comes out. Otherwise, we'll see you all in the next video.